Our website page map template serves a few different purposes. First of all, in the diagram tab, we want you to just identify from a high level what your new site will look like. So in this example, we provide you with the home page at the top here, uh, my account, site map, privacy statement, and help along the side with a larger section here that consists of several different drop lists, subsections, and of course you'll have to enter some page descriptions. So this is just a high level example of what the diagram might look like. You may want to insert your site map here if it's easier uh, or any other type of visual mockup that you've created. Most importantly, this tool is used to help you identify where your existing pages are going to go in the redesign process and map them to your new website. So what you first have to do is go into the indexed pages tab and you can simply find some of your index pages by typing site colon and then your website URL in Google. Um, th then you actually have to enter them into this spreadsheet. So in this example here we've got different products here and the URLs that are existing today the title of those pages, a short description, and any keywords that we've gone after. Then you go into the New Pages tab. And this is where you've got different pages for your new website. So for example, in the new site, now we're going to have a dedicated shopping page. And we categorize each of these different products. So one page will be all of the different shopping items. And then below that, we've got shopping items for each of our different products. So the next step is really to show what the new page URL will be and identify which page will be redirected. So we pulled this information from the index pages tab. So this is a great organizational tool and once you've identified the index pages and mapped them to your new pages, you're going to want to provide this information to your website developer to ensure a smooth transition to your new website.